Okay, we're going to turn our attention now to looking at one technique of integration that you learn in this calculus course. Um, it is called integration by substitution. It is actually related to the chain rule. It's basically kind of the reverse of the chain rule. So first of all, here we're just going to remember how the chain rule works. When we looked at evaluating things with the chain rule, when we had functions that were composition of functions, a function of a function, right? You have an inside function here, and then you have another function of that. When we did the chain rule here, we kind of ignored what was inside, and we said, say, this is going to be 10 times that to the ninth, and then multiplied by the derivative of that inside function, 2x, right? And you have this in here. All right, so you had these two pieces. You had kind of the outside derivative with respect to the inside, and then the inside with respect to x. You have that extra piece. You had this extra piece that showed up here, right? Same with the second one here. We've got 7 times that to the 6th, sine x minus 2, and then times the derivative of the inside, the derivative of that was cosine. Same thing again, derivative of the outside with respect to the inside, and then derivative of the inside, that extra piece there. Now, the question that says here, how can you tell just from that answer that those are the result of the chain rule? Well, you have to learn to recognize that, hey, they got this extra piece here that looks like the derivative of that inside function there. If that were the inside function, that's its derivative. Same thing over here. If that's an inside function, and there, look, you have its derivative. Substitution doesn't work all the time. The chain rule more or less worked any time you had a composition of functions. Substitution's you know, going to work only when what you have looks like the result of the chain rule. Because, one last thing before we start here. When we were doing the derivative of this, this extra piece appeared here, right, when we were going this way. When we're going the other way, we're going to be doing the integral of this dx is this, plus a constant. This extra piece here is going to disappear when we do the integral. And that troubles some people, but uh, you'll see why here. It's called substitution because as a way of doing it, we substitute of the inside function. We give it a name. We usually call it, people seem to call it u all the time. Um, the first few that I have here for you. Now, to know before we start here that substitution is going to work here, that looks like it could be the result of the chain rule because you have a function and you also have you have so you have this composition you have this is an inside function to that power of 12 but you have the derivative of that inside function 2x there so that's how we know it's gonna work with substitution because we have that if this wasn't here it's not gonna work because you don't have that extra little piece there so the way you do this is you say I'm going to make this inside function, call it u. So u is going to be x squared plus 2. And then what we have then is we can, we can replace the other stuff because I'm going to just say this is u to the 12th now. u to the 12th. All right? If we, if we're going to do this integral, we can't just leave 2x dx. You can't just have a mixture of variables there. You have to be able to change everything to use if you're going to replace the variables. So the way we do that is by knowing the derivative. We're going to write a little statement here that will allow us to replace the rest of it. If u is equal to x squared plus 2, then the derivative of u is 2x. Right? Derivative of x squared plus 2 is 2x. But we're going to change this around here. If du dx is 2x, then du, if we kind of think about it, you can almost think about it like kind of multiplying both sides by dx. It ends up right there, right? Du is 2x dx. That's what we're going to use to replace the rest of it here. So I don't know why I highlighted this over here the wrong color. Let's start again here. So we're replacing the blue with u, that x squared plus 2. We've got to the power of 12. But we're going to replace the other stuff here. du is equal to 2x dx. Look at that. I have 2x dx there. I'm going to replace that whole thing with du. Alright, so we've replaced everything. Now you have an integral that 
you can work out. It just says integral of u to the 12th. Now, to do that, you're going to have u to the 13th, but you have 1 13th plus a constant. And our last but not least here, all we have to do now is take this and sub it back in for u, and we're, and we're good to go here. So I'm going to write this up here. 1 13th, instead of u, I'm going to write x squared plus 2, and then plus my constant on the end there. That's the integral of this. All right, remember that this came from, that's that, right? That's that u value there that we, that we used. If you want to check this, here's how you can check. How do you think you can check? Well, if we just did the indefinite integral, we should be able to take the, the derivative of this, get what we started with. If you take the derivative of that, that, I erased my plus sign there, we're going to take the derivative of this. Let me write it again down here. 1 13th x squared plus 12 to the 13th plus a constant. Derivative of that, take this, multiply it in front. 13 times 1 13th, that to the 12th x squared plus 12. But we got a times by the derivative of the inside function, which is 2x, and then the derivative of the plus c, that constant, is 0. It disappears. 13 and 1 13th are gone. We just have x squared plus 12 to the 12th times 2x. And look at that. That's what the function was that we started with here, you see? Okay, you can always check by just working backwards, finding the derivative. Let's get our check off the page here so we still have our room to work. Move it over there. Another one here, it's almost like I made them up to uh, just so that they work here. We have another function here. I'm going to make this, let's go with different colors this time. I'm going to make that the inside function. I'm going to make that into the u here. The reason I can do that is because I've got its derivative there. The derivative of that thing is right here, 3x squared. Because if I write this over here, derivative of that is 3x squared, so if I write it as a du statement here, du is 3x squared dx. Now, I replaced this with that, and let's again use a different color so we don't get lost in what we're doing here. du's 3x squared dx. 3x squared dx, all of that stuff in green I can replace with du, and the thing in yellow I can replace with u. So I've got integral of u to the 20th, which is 1 over 21, u to the 21, plus a constant. If we sub back in there, we've got 1 over 21, x cubed minus 7 to the 21, plus a constant. You could check that one as well with finding its derivative and see that it works. All right? One last thing here before we leave this. Now, this is very similar to this one up here, except as I think I mentioned before, the one difference is it doesn't have this 2x in it here. Right? The one up above says, this one says integral of 2x times that function. This one doesn't have that 2x in it. You can't use substitution unless you have that. Like if, I, if I'm going to make u into x squared plus 2 here, then du is 2x dx. Well, I don't have 2x dx. I don't have a an x there. It's okay if I didn't have the 2 here, right? I don't have the 2. That's not a problem because I can always put a 2 there if I times a half out here. But the fact that I don't have this x here, I can't use substitution for this, okay? Now, unfortunately, my only resort here, if I was going to do this, would be to do a lot of tedious algebra here or use that binomial theorem and multiply that thing out. All right, but I'm not going to do that here right now. Okay, just as long as you realize that's what you could do. All right, so that's kind of an introduction to the to kind of the reverse of the chain rule called integration by substitution. We're going to do a few examples of that that uh, maybe get slightly more difficult in the next part.